friends and fishes, and welcome to Maria's Reviews. Today, we're talking about Finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo. You remember Dory, the silly blue fish with not a lot of memory? Well, this time, this movie is focused on her. Dory was born with short-term memory loss. That means she can't remember things really well, and sometimes it makes Dory's life really hard. But she doesn't care. She continues her life and lives happily. Dory was separated from her family when she was a little fish. She forgot about them, but as she got older, she was looking for something and didn't know what. Suddenly, one day, she remembers that she has a family and that she has to find them. Family is the most important thing, and Dory wants to find hers. Even though she forgets things really easily, she doesn't let this stop her. If you believe in yourself, you can overcome anything. Even though Dory's looking for her family, she realizes that Marlin and Nemo are part of her family too. Your family is what you make it. They love you and support you, no matter where they come from. This movie is so good, and it's really silly. It's got lots of colorful fish and bubbles and a really grumpy octopus. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Go see Finding Dory. It's awesome. I give it five starfishes. Alrighty then. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And then there's sharks, which most of the time you would think are really mean. But actually, some of them are vegetarians. Bruce has a really hard time.